As never before, we in research need a champion, and that champion is, in fact, Research America, to keep U.S. science at the forefront in the world. I recently heard a very great quote from the governor of the state of Michigan. And that quote that I like very much goes like this. Sometimes leadership is planting trees under whose shade you will never sit. All of us in leadership roles can only hope that that quote is in fact true and that what we do will extend well beyond what we ever imagined or what we ever dreamed. The tree, the, the tree that I have been a part in planting is the Gladstone Institutes, with the hope and with the expectation that the shade from that tree will benefit many patients suffering from heart disease, from HIV and AIDS, from Alzheimer's disease, and other neurodegenerative disorders. I accept this award tonight on behalf of the Gladstone researchers in San Francisco. We started the Gladstone with seven people, seven founders, in 1979. One of those founders is here with me tonight, Dr. Carl Weisgraber, with whom I have worked for 28 years, initially at the NIH and then for the last 30 years at the Gladstone Institutes. Gladstone now has 400 employees committed to excellence in biomedical research. Basic science is our strength, but as I like to say, it's basic science with a purpose. The cures will be found for the diseases that we study, and when they are discovered, Gladstone will play a part in those cures. I also accept this award on behalf of the unsung supporters of biomedical research, the administrative officers who make it possible for scientists to be successful day after day. And two of those chief administrators at the Gladstone Institutes are here with me tonight, Carla D'Angelo and Dan Oshiro, and I salute them. <clears throat> And finally, I acknowledge my wife, Linda, of 46 years, who has been a part of the entire Gladstone endeavor. Thank you very much, Research America. <laughs>